Hello everybody, I'm back with more Mega Man X, and today we're taking on Flame Mammoth. So, Flame Mammoth is strong against Chill Penguin and weak to, uh, weak to Storm Eagle's power. This level can be really hard or really easy, depending on if you've done Chill Penguin. So, out. Basically, all this ice at the bottom here would be lava if we haven't done Chill Penguin stage. Um, one of the changes I've already... So, I've done Chill Penguin stage, which will freeze over this lava, and I've done Storm Eagle stage, which disables the electricity in uh, Spark Mandrel stage. Okay, this is the only part I'm going to use save states, because it's really annoying to exit the level and go back in over and over. Basically, this is one of the most precise jumps in the game. I'm going to hold in the charge just because I'm comfortable like that. You have to have the dash and head upgrade, and you have to dash right at the right at the edge of this. There's probably a more efficient way to do it, but... See, and I've just failed. So, it's actually, once you've broken it like that, it's impossible. So I'm going to load my save state because I don't want to have to come into this level multiple times just for the power. There we go. Okay. Arm power. Basically, the arm power up lets you charge up your buster an extra, uh, one extra charge. It also lets you charge up your Maverick weapons, which is very useful. <clears throat> so I realized that last video I didn't explain how the sub-tanks worked. So basically, if you have full health, and you pick up a piece of health, here it's going to show you the full charge. So if you have full health and you pick up a piece of health, it goes into your sub-tank, and at any time you can use a sub-tank to replenish your health. So. The most useful thing about, or the heart is just under here, you do need to have done Chill Penguin stage to get it. The most useful thing about the Powered Up Buster is that, there, I just filled up my sub-tank a little bit. See, so I have a little bit of sub-tank energy now. Anyways, the good thing about the Charged Up Buster is it creates a shield behind you that I can, oh, here, I'll actually try to show you. It actually hurts people. Ah, screw it. Okay. The second sub-tank that I'm going to be getting is just up here. Basically, you dash off the side, and then... If you jump off these blocks, it destroys them. So, yeah. And there's another sub-tank. So I'm making good progress on it. Um, I will be showing you how to get the Hattican. It's one of the hardest to figure out secrets. I can't imagine figuring it out without a, without having seen it somewhere before, because it's just so obscure. But I guess some people just try random things. Again, this is a way easier part if you can just slide underneath everything. This is one of the more annoying parts of the level. No particular reason. Those are my least favorite enemies in the game. Okay, and boss time. Like I said earlier, I'm going to be trying to buster this, so we'll see how it goes. So, again, this boss is pretty predictable. This game doesn't have a lot of hard bosses. I already screwed up. Basically, when he raises his trunk, or when he raises his trunk and makes a noise, the conveyor belt switches directions. He can shoot fire, and whenever he lands, you have to make sure you're in the air, because he'll stun you if you're not.
In case of emergency, I will be using the tornado attack to finish this guy. Because I don't want to have to redo the whole level. I want him to show his last attack. He has one other attack. Crap. I don't think he's going to use it, though. Basically, the attack is he can shoot, like, little balls of goo, and they stick to the conveyor belt. There, there it is. Basically, they'll trap you if you stand in them, and then he'll shoot fire at you, and the goo will catch fire doing a lot of damage. But, again, just don't step on it when it's going towards, when it's on the conveyor belt. So, that's another boss down. Um, I'm not sure who I'm going to do next. It's kind of a crap shoot from here, because I have... Wait. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll decide later. Anyways, I'll see you next time on Let's Play Mega Man X.